I'm out in the field, uh, in on the job, and um, I got a serious uh, issue with my uh, circular saw, which is absolutely necessary for that project, and I cannot really work uh, without it. Um, what happened is basically a lot of smoke, a lot of uh, fire, well, let's say, well, arcing, let's say not fire. And, um, you know, uh, basically a, a tragedy, you know, but it's, it's still uh, spinning really nice, you know. So I took it apart, you know, and the <coughs> brushes basically fell off. There are rest of it over there, never mind. So I bought a new, new set of brushes and I connected it. And unfortunately, the story was exactly the same. Uh, so I think pink the the the, the think we <laughs> oh I think the fault of brushes was just co coincidence. It was just a coincidence. Um, armature seems to be clean except of uh, one um, of the connectors, one of the poles. And, uh, you know, I shouldn't really take it apart on the field because, you know, it's not a workshop. I have no tools. I have no this, no that, you know, just just to have some, uh, you know, uh, understanding on what's going uh, to, to what, what happened to, to this uh, device. Uh, I really like it. You know, it's a Wolf. So it's a, you know, supposedly German uh, production uh, product, uh, not necessarily, but uh, uh, let's say it's German. I mean, design. I like the design. It's it's quite rugged. The access to the brushes is is just excellent. Um, you can see the commutator and everything from from the behind. Um, so I decided to check if I can rewind it, you know, by hand. And I think I got lucky. Uh, what I mean is exactly over here and I will just try to explain what is all about yes so this is a it looks like a um, break in the winding now I put some light from my crappy LED lamp and as you can see there is some of colorization around it but it seems to be only in that point. Uh, the thing is that measuring of the fields on the uh, commutator gave about the same result for every base. So. Uh, it seems that the coils are okay and this one is also okay but this one because of the resistance over here the, the largest uh, larger resistance starts to arch arching arching and um, it also uh, causes arching on the commutator itself so i will attempt to fix it and uh, we will see uh, if it will work you know i will try to attempt to solder it and uh, put it back together. So this is what I done. Um, I gave it a really nice bubble of solder and I'm gonna test it out. If it works, uh, I will maybe take out this wire and solder it, you know, outside of the winding. For now, I just connected it like, uh, you know, roughly. I have no idea if this will not change the, you know, resistance of entire uh, winding so that it would melt anyway. Uh, we will see. And later, you know, I will just cover it with a thick layer of paint or something like this just to protect it from elements. Let's test it out. <laughs> Unfortunately, 
failure. Seems that uh, there is no shorts and there is no um, big differences between the the fields. Uh, so I just will make another, you know, um, attempt to fix it, and I basically pulled the wire out. It, it doesn't seem to be broken. It seems to be okay, and this. Um, layer of uh, carbon that was on the top it seems that it was coming from arc arcing and not from the fact that it was broken so uh, right now I'm thinking how to cover it with uh, uh, resin and it will stay like this until tomorrow and tomorrow I will make another try <laughs> Electricity is on. Okay, brushes in the place. So, unfortunately, it is not that. It feels like it has uh, still the full f uh, uh, of, of power, but uh, you know that this sparking is really terrible, and it would beat the brushes. The brushes right now are the correct ones, the hard brushes. Um, but the commutator. It seems to have some problem on one of the fields. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but basically this field over here is half eaten. That means that when the brush leaves it, I think it leaves it because it spins this way, it gets a uh, very bad short. So the problem is definitely somewhere over here where where I was gluing but most probably it is um, taking concerning more than one winding I don't know maybe it is beyond the repair well of course you can always rewind the um, coil but you know the cost of, of that in a workshop it's about uh, I think 20 uh, maybe 30 euro so you know and this device is is not a proper Bosch Makita or something like that no one would ever care about this guy you know it's a cheap stuff <sighs> anyway I, I, I'm not giving up on this guy I will try to fix it uh, but of course not in the field not now more videos coming later. Wah, wah, wah.